Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. First, subscribe to my, ch my channel and uh, select the bell to get a notification about every video we are going to drop on the YouTube channel. And also, go down this video and like this video. Today, we are going to talk about a little comparison between ChatGPT and Bard AI after the Bard AI made a massive update in 10 May conference. So let's start talking about this. But first, Bard AI, Google Bard AI, a new AI chatbot that taken the world by storm. Google has recently made their AI chatbot Bard available in over 180 countries uh, with added feature to improve the user experience. It's a rival to OpenAI's ChatGPT, which has been making progress in responding to natural language prompt with a human-like answer. On May 10, Google opened access to Bard, which can be accessed for free and, it, uh, and have the advantage of being able to access the internet. Despite this, the chat boot is still an experimental phase and it may display inaccurate or offensive information sometimes. But let's start talking about the new options or new updates or new features that Bard AI have and ChatGPT doesn't have uh, anymore until now. Maybe in the future everything can change, but we are talking up till now. So let's so let's start. Bard will be available on your smartphone. This is the first feature. ChatGPT is not yet available as a mobile app, but some users have been accessing it via browser on their smartphones. Google plans to integrate the chatbot into more Google apps and services to make it more accessible for smartphone users. The second one is images as a response. ChatGPT is efficient at generating text responses but not images. Google Bard demonstrated the ability to provide images at an AIO event but didn't do so in response to prompts. It's likely that the feature is being rolled out gradually. The third one, Bard comes with a host of plugins. Google has announced that its platform, Bard, will, will feature plugins from Walmart, Spotify, Uber Eats, uh, uh, Adobe F uh, Firefly, and other Google apps. That fo this follows OpenAI's launch of similar plugins for ChatGPT. However, only those will uh, with a subscription of, uh, to the $20 a month, ChatGPT Plus can access them. The next one, prompt using image. Bard stands out for its ability to use images as prompt. Users can take a picture of a crafty material, for example, and ask the AI chatbot for ideas. This is a major step forward in the AI chatbot world. The next one, Voice prompts. ChatGPT is a far away from imaginal uh, voice prompts, uh, but uh, Google Bard seems to be offering this to its users. Using voice to give prompts can be a convenient way to get response while multitasking. This could be the first time that voice is being used as a prompt uh, and AI chat boot, clearly t uh, overtaking the peers. The next feature. Export results to Gmail and Docs. Bard, a new feature from Google, makes sharing results with friends and co-worker easy. It, may, it comes with like, uh, dislike and share buttons, as well as the ability to export uh, to Google Docs or drafts in Gmail. This makes composing emails a breeze and makes Bard stand out compared to other similar extensions. The next one, enhancing the search. Google Bard gives user uh, give you gives users more control when it comes to validating information, along with like, dislike, and share. It gives users the optional to Google search their prom uh, prompts with a click of the Google icon. This opens a search related topics box with relevant keywords. Clicking uh, these topics lead to search results in the unusual way which ChatGPT doesn't yet 
have and the next one the power of gmail one of the, uh, the biggest advantages of google part it will be integrated with gmail the email service is currently being used by over 2 billion people and having access to an ai chat put in the in the email will redefine email interactions this feature could come in handy for professional interaction be it writing a proposal or sending an invite google bard can really draft in it, uh, it in email uh, or gmail and the last one bard for coding google's bard is a powerful ai chat boot which supports over 20 programming language like c python java typescript javascript etc it offers a code generation uh, explanation and debugging something chat gpt is yet to master open ai's codex may be better suited for this purpose as the race to provide the most advanced ai chat boot reaches in p but after the trials google bard encoding is there is still not as effective as google expecting it to be so we will see in the future what uh, will happen and what is going to happen for uh, or between chat gpt and bard ai don't uh, and uh, in the end at the end don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and see you later